Hello, everybody. So welcome today to this video. The point of this video is to show you how to update the Sony Alpha A7R2. So again, this model is also known as the ILCE7RM2 or the slash B, so the ILCE7RM2 slash B. Um, and basically what we're looking at here is the Sony support website. You just want to go to Sony.com, click on support, um, and then look up your model of camera, either by category or by support type. So if you click category, you have, you know, cameras, you can find it that way. Or if you do by support type, you can do drivers and software and then just look up your model. So pretty self-explanatory there. Once you're under drivers and software, you want to go ahead and select your operating system. Microsoft Windows 10, 64-bit for myself. And what you want to make sure just ahead of time before you do anything else, make sure that you plug your camera in beforehand. Because if you go to do a firmware update and you haven't installed it yet, you want everything to be out of the way. You want it to be fully functioning before you have any sort of firmware updates or anything along those lines because you don't want anything to interrupt it because a firmware update could potentially brick whatever device you are updating. And this applies across multitude of many devices, not just this camera. So you wanna make sure that you're online and that you are uh, connected so that Microsoft can download whatever drivers it needs to. Let's go ahead and look up the firmware actually. We have the Sony RAW driver installed, which allows you to view Windows 10 uh, or Windows on a Windows, sorry, operating system, any type of RAW files from the Sony camera that come off of there inside the native Windows apps. Okay, and then um, what we will look at right now is updating the camera firmware to version 4.0 and again, this provides many benefits. You can hit the little plus if you want to see exactly what is provided. And you can tell that it is quite a large file at 237 megabytes. So one of the things that's interesting to note is these cameras are more computer-like than, say, your regular DSLRs and that type of stuff. They have a little bit more built-in memory. They have better processing speed and all that kind of stuff because it is required. It's all digital and to display everything correctly. So this is basically like updating from Windows 7 to Windows 10. This is basically equivalent of that for your camera. So you wanna, we're gonna go ahead and click download. While it's downloading, I'll just give you a little overview of what is included in this. So you wanna accept the agreement. And while the download is kicking off, let's just go ahead and take a look at what is in the options. So what we have is a auto power off temp function, which improves um, the operation of the camera for um, over temps and all that kind of stuff. So to turn off and not burn your mess up your camera. Um, auto focus is now improved. There's improvements there. Live view display on the custom button assignment. So allowing you to customize a little more. You can add set file name function um, but again, you could read most of this yourself, but basically some of the main things like the auto temp turn off and image quality is a big one for me. This is one of the reasons I would always update is for improvements in image quality and other optimizations that improve, see the stability of the camera and all that other kind of stuff. So you can also look up benefits provided by previous updates, which are also included in this update. So if your camera is behind a few different versions, you would be able to pick up everything in this one setting. So again, optimizing algorithm during focusing with live view display is set or the setting effect off. So this will help those with uh, being able to preview uh, the live view display and that kind of stuff. So the focusing will work a little bit better than it used to. So this is all uh, pretty good. The model applies to ours. And you can determine if you need this update. Um, if you look on your camera menu, under this settings toolbox and page six with the version, and you can see the version right there. So if your current firmware version is already 4.0, you don't need this. So 
Again, here are the warnings before you start. You want to make sure that your battery is fully charged. I mean, here it says at least 75%. You definitely want to make sure that you have it fully charged. Um, and again, the changes uh, for a firmware update are permanent. It's not possible to go back to any for previous firmware. So by continuing this update, um, you understand that it can, cannot be reversed. Uh, don't allow your compu computer to go to sleep. Make sure it's plugged in on power if you're not too sure about your battery. Because again, like I said, if anything happens in between, you remove your USB, camera power, computer power, any of those things happen, you could brick your camera. Um, so you want to remove the memory card from the camera. Make sure all the other devices are disconnected from your camera. So if you have any sort of uh, microphone, any sort of attachments, any sort of, um, you know, flashes or any other devices, whatever you may have on there, stabilizers, whatever, just remove everything. Make sure nothing's going to interrupt it, turn it off or mess with the power. So you want to make sure that that's all set. We've already downloaded this update. Basically, we just want to kick it off and verify. No, let this finish. So it's going to temporarily unpack it to a temp location so that it can run. So again, turn on the camera, select USB from the setup, the camera's menu screen which you, that automatically does this. You don't actually have to do this. And then connect the camera to the computer with a USB cable, click next. And it'll verify for you that everything's correct. You can see my current version is 3.3 .3, and the version after this update will be 4.0. So verify the version update, there you go. If there is no other problems, we can continue. And the camera will restart automatically. And on the camera right now, what I'm seeing is it says follow computer instructions and the screen shut down. So it'll restart itself. It'll update however necessary. It is quite a large file, so it'll take a second to transfer over, I'm sure. So again, very important, don't pull the USB cable or turn off the camera 100%. Make sure your computer stays awake and power it on. So transfer is currently happening. I'll meet you guys in a couple seconds as soon as it completes. So it looks like we're finally nearing the end. I believe that took about 10 minutes or so. I had to step away a little bit and came back just in time to keep my laptop from uh, locking up. And if it's anything like most Windows program, it probably lies to you when it's done. There we go. Update has been completed. So now that we're completed, you can simply hit finish and go to your camera, which is probably currently in USB mode. And it will take a second to restart. And you should be able to confirm your firmware version just the way it said, where you go to menu, toolbox, level six, version. And there I can see that it's version 4.0 and we're good to go. And 
come back for another video showing how to update the lens firmware. So that's right, on a Sony, you can update the lens as well. And we welcome you back. Take care and have a great day, everyone.